Hello friends and welcome to bspsolutions.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to create standard application in Oracle PBCX Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service If you are new to Hypian Planning please refer to my first video in which I talked about the basics of Hypian Planning and other features because a hands-on session, therefore I'm going to show you directly how to create planning application. So step first, you log into your planning application. You need to refer to the email which Oracle sent across to you, which contain that identity domain and credential once you procure Oracle license. So in my case, this is the identity domain. I'm using, I'm logging with my colleague ID, so you need to define your credential. And in case you already have application, you would land it up into this page where you can see all the existing application. In this case, I have got planning, production application, and uh, test application. However, I'm going to create application completely from the beginning. Therefore, I take you to the another window from where we create application completely from the scratch. So in this, you can click on launch service and uh, define, it will land it up onto the home page. This is a home page. And in case you don't have any application, this is the first page you would be receiving. Depends upon the license you procured. In my case, I have planning and budgeting, financial consolidation close and tax reporting. I start with planning a budgeting application and I would also recommend to go through my workbook along with this video tutorial to get the complete information about it. So you see there are different types of planning application we have. So we have enterprise standard and reporting. In today's session, we are using standard planning report, standing planning application. So I would select standard which in turn has got sample application which is called vision if you again uh, you, you do not know what is vision application how to create please refer my previous video creating epma vision application today i'm going to create a custom application therefore i select option new and for the sake of simplicity i have taken this design document this excel sheet as part of my design document you would be referring your functional design document and technical design document. Uh, in my case, to make this presentation simple to understand, I'm using Excel sheet. And most often you find your planners are using Excel sheets and where they perform day-to-day -day manual planning and budgeting activity. So the Excel sheets are basically a right, a right starting point to understand the process, the existing process of planning and budgeting. In my this case, I've taken an Excel sheet which talk about various kind of expenses. Uh, this is accommodation expenses for actual budget and forecast. I use different color to represent different types of data or different class of data. So actuals are shown with a dark gray color which represent it's a read only. Whereas budget and forecast are light gray color. It's a historical or the previous year budget and forecast. The, the future budget value are shown as with white color. So here I'm trying to demonstrate that it is my future budget. In my case, it would be August 2017. Rather, September 2017. So people can input number over here. This Excel should give me a required information before we create application. So this is a kind of operating expenses. So I'm creating an operating expense planning application. I name it as OPEX plan and I define some sample, some description about it. This is a sample planning application design to manage operating expenses. Click next and I follow this wizard, fairly straightforward. If you're coming from older version of Hypian planning or on-prem, you would find most of the options are similar, only the look and feel is different. So the first step, you set your period dimension, period and year. 
then you define starting and end year so often we create application with three years of historical data so if you start 2017 the current year so i would start 2015 16 rather 2014 2014 2015 and 2016 would be my historical data one year of current data and it's 2017 and in this example i take three year of future data which is kind of kind of industry practice it is not mandatory you go for three years you can go for five years six year ten year up to you i'll take 2018 to 2020 18 90 20. so i i'm going to create an application for 2014 to next seven year which is 2020 so what is your starting month of a fiscal year for some country the fiscal year start from april like in india for some other country it start from january so look at your design document detail and finalize uh, it depends upon the geographical location or the the target location for which you are going to create your application i continue to select january over here and then we have a weekly distribution so how week distribute weeks are distributed in a given quarter so the weekly distribution has got these values even distribution 445 454 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, and 544 how what is the interpretation of this so in a given quarter let's say quarter 2 there are 13 weeks and how do you distribute this week in a given quarter if it is 445 4, it is considered as 4 weeks in april which is my calendar quarter second four weeks in may and five weeks in june similarly you can have five four 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 five four how your weeks are distributed in a given quarter this is what we define over here or you can select even distribution you can also define how it is going to be a rolling forecast the rolling forecast could be 12 months 13 months in case it is 13 months you can define as September going on. So 2016 September. This is August, sorry, 2016 August to 2016, 2017 August. So it's going to be 13 months. You could also have a 12 month rolling where you can define one plus 11. So number of months remain 12. So one plus 11 would be interpreted as you have one month of actual data and from february one month of actual data and from february to december you have forecast data you could have two plus ten two years two months of actual data and ten months of forecast data and so on it depends upon your requirement you can select your rolling period so it forms year and period to dimension then you have multi-currency it is same as your old application if you're completely new to uh, hype in planning then when you create application you decide is your application spread across or it has a business across different geographical location therefore you need to have multiple currencies so you define base currency which is called main currency here all currencies will be converted to base currency for example i'm creating a planning a budgeting application for mcdonald it is based out in us therefore i use base currency and usd as mcdonald is spread across different part of the globe and therefore they should have a multi-currency yes when you select multi-currency yes you in turn have two option multi-currency type well so if you are coming from older version of high payment planning the concept remains same some keywords are being changed over here so i take you to this my workshop document in workshop document you see there are two type of currency standard and simplified in case you select standard when you create a standard type system create two hidden dimension sorry one hidden dimension called hsp rate and currency the same as your older version where you hsp rate let's assume what does hsp rate consist of so for example i need to convert 1000 usd 
to INR with the exchange rate of 65. So HSP rate contain three member input value. In this case, input value is 1000. Your input currency, USD, and your exchange rate would be 65. So this is a hidden dimension. Once I create application, uh, you know, you can see within your S space in case you have X space visible, but in cloud, you cannot see this. This dimension is hidden so that you do not know exactly what is happening behind the screen. But I'm using on-prem application just for the sake of your understanding. So when you create multi-currency, yes, HSP rate dimension created in S space, which consists of input value, input currency and exchange rates with respect to a specific currency. This dimension is not visible to the user. And in addition to this, you have a currency dimension, which is self-explanatory, which contain various currencies. This you can see in your S space or once my planning application created, I would show you over there as well. When you select simplified, you get only one additional account called exchange rate within your account dimension. And you get currency dimension member as well. Input currency, reporting currency as well. Once application will be created, I'll show you over there. Next step, you define your input queue and your ASO queue, which is your reporting queue. So input queue, name it. I'm using OPEX database and I use OPEX reporting cube RPT. Please refer to my workshop to get complete information about what is what. I'm going to click next and this is the option where I can define my dimension. So planning has some predefined dimension, predefined and mandatory dimension. These are time, period, which you just now created in a previous screen, account, which is your common chart of account, scenario. As you see in your design document or your Excel sheet, you have scenario called actual budget forecast and various types of accounts. And uh, you have version. Version represent your represents the iterative behavior of planning and organization structure, which you call entity. So you see your time, period, and year you gray out. You they cannot change them. In addition, this probably this is new to you. You have option to load metadata right over here. You can click on choose file and specify CSV or comma separator file or tab file. So I already have one sample metadata file. I show you how to load it. Just it's a fairly simple point to your CSV file, which is in certain format, and you can load it. So as you see, there are 450 records are available. In a subsequent session, I show you how to create metadata file. Just for the sake of your understanding, you can see this. Uh, let me show you over here in Excel. This is my sample metadata file, which I loaded, right? So you have parent child relationship and other dimension properties. Well, you may be new to this, all these options. So at this point of time, you can ignore it. In a subsequent session, I show you how to create your own metadata file. So actually you're done with everything. You click on next. This is summary information. I would recommend you to take a snapshot of this. Therefore, you can understand what is starting period and period starting month of your fiscal year weekly distribution multi currency i did not use stand sandbox your input cube name and reporting cube name click on create it takes few minutes probably two three minutes and your application would be ready once application done i'll browse you through with the various interfaces of planning application so once application done, you find this message application created successfully. You can quickly cross check. This is the default window you find. And I'll take you directly to the dimension which are created in the application overview and quickly cross check. So you see there's one cube created named as operating 
expenses plan and it's a standard dimension type this is a description the one cube created for bso cube and one aso cube created for reporting and these are your dimension and this is activity and report if you if you have done any in the past because we just now created at this information this cube so you find activity reports or kind of log file so that's it for today this is how you can create a basic sample application in a subsequent example i show you how to load metadata and automate various automation process thank you should you have any question please feel free to write to bisp support.bisp.com support at the rate bispsolutions.com thank you